Are we there yet? Chapter 5 From Boys to Men and Back Again Spongebob stepped back up to the microphone. Now, back to our story. Hey, you're all following along in your handouts, right? A few fish ripple sullenly through their paper packets. Spongebob continued. Mindy was right. The road to Shell City is paid with dangers. Like muscle-bound bar bullies, sweet little old ice cream ladies who turn into vicious predators, and some third even more dangerous thing that I can't think of right now. We almost gave up hope when we got to this deep, dark, dangerous, monster-infested trench. But just when we were ready to turn around and go back home like a couple of kids, Mindy showed up and used her mermaid magic to give us the courage of men. With the power of our manly mustaches, we were unstoppable. Giant crabs and hideous sea monsters were no match for us. Then on the outskirts of Shell City, things got really exciting. First, Dennis the Hitman found us and ripped off our mustaches. And then, just as he was about to stomp us, he got stomped himself by the evil Cyclops. Words can't describe what happened then, which is why I've asked Patrick to handle the next part of the presentation. Patrick stepped forward. Okay, well, this is us getting snatched up by the Cyclops, he explained. And this is us waking up in a scary poison gas filled tank of death. Patrick flipped to a new page. Now, this is the part where I defeat the Cyclops and then Mindy shows up and gives me her phone number. Patrick, SpongeBob hissed. That didn't happen. Patrick shrugged. Well, you tell your part your way and I'll tell my part mine. Stay tuned for chapter 6 coming up soon.